Good morning, afternoon, and evening, graduates. Welcome to Meeple University. This is your uh, teacher, Professor Taran Falk, and I'm the assistant, Stella. We will be teaching you, <laughs> teaching and playing Oath. Uh, Chronicles of Empire and Exile. So welcome everybody in the chat room. I can already say uh, see it. Uh, don't be shy. You can say something in the chat room, or you can just watch it and not say anything. So we've got Tara Dawn that said, "Just wondering, aren't you playing just one right now at um, All Shucks?" But that's just ended. Yes, I was just like <laughs> ran from that one stream to another. Yes, you are uh, <laughs> in the presence of the busiest woman in board gaming and me. <laughs> I wouldn't say the busiest, I'm sure other people, I'm sure Matt from Shut Up and Sit Down are so busy this weekend because they have the uh, digital convention, which is which is fine, I would just play just one, yes. We were not really good at that, but it's all fun and games. Uh, so, we've got uh, yet Pterodon, Patrick, the Nerd Shelves, hello, Socks Rule, hey professors, <laughs> Mystery Gut from Scotland, Milo, yay, for a couple of minutes, that's okay. Game with, with Carve, hello. Uh, this is Sissy from a different account. Okay, I see. Uh, Sean, Henry's, oh, our friend Henry's, uh, Ty, Patrick, uh, everyone's our friend. Kat Schulman from Melbourne. Internet is down, so I can only watch in 144p today. Oh, sorry, mm. it's like a mobile. Um, and Lee, Lillian, and welcome. Whether you watch it live or not live, uh, welcome to the live playthrough, right now live, later not live, of Oath. This is, um, what we're going to show is the deluxe version. What we're going to give away is, um, unfortunately, just, um, unfortunately, the standard edition. Fortunately, only two things different, which is the book, which you'll see, and the metal coin, which you can update later on anyway. Yes, those will be cardboard instead of wood and um, thing, but the... Resin, um, yeah. Yes, but we have a... Pretty uh, sure the mat's included, there's yeah. There's play mat here, there's some nice, uh, kooky little yep. pawns here that we'll be playing with, so yep. it's very fun. Yeah, and we've got uh, David, Rene, and Beyond the Death from Thirteen from Twitch. Hostel Fire. What socks do you wear? Like this, every time I see socks socks roll in the chat, I'd be like, I have the fish and sushi socks today. Okay, okay. is that to do with something? Anything? No. No, that was just uh, the You're near, not matching. It's the nearest. It's, it's thematically matching. Okay, fine. All right, so um. Before we start, um, as usual, we're gonna have Tarrant do an overview of the game. We're gonna be playing with two players, so we're gonna show you how the, the two players' variants work because we're gonna use the clockwork prints and there's some floor charts and so on. Um, and then, so um, later, the game will give you the giveaway. So, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna play the game. So, I'm gonna throughout the video, we're gonna show you, uh, let you know what the password have to enter. And then we're going to draw at the end of this live playthrough. So leader games will give you the game. Um, that would be... Uh, when that would be... Uh, where is it? Oh, God. Um, May. So it will be like towards the end of May when you get it. So you won't get it straight away. Um, you'll get it a little bit later. So at like end of May, early June. Because I think Kick, um, the backer is, is just starting to receive or still receiving um, the fulfillment at the moment. The giveaway is worldwide, except um, a few countries which I wrote in the um, in the description. So that's the countries with some um, shipping restriction from the US. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I've got Joy, Francis, and um, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. And um, Taryn, let's let's get it to the table. Yes. Din 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 din. Welcome to Oath. Mm. So this is. The latest game from uh, Cole Worley, who uh, well known for Pax Pamir and Root. Root, both of which are sort of they're not full war style games, but they're very um, they're sort of Euro twisted war style games, and they're very much in his style. He's got a style more than uh, more than any other, maybe not any other designer, but right, yeah. There are certain designers that have a style of their own, and Cole is definitely one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the latest in that series. It is... It's not a legacy game, but it's a game that sort of carries over elements from map to map. So each game is standalone, but then at the end you go through a sequence and you set up the game 
um, partially based on how the previous one ended. Yeah. And so this, looking for this. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so this is our second game, and mm -hmm. those who've played, those who've played this game, there is a, a walkthrough to set up a straightforward first game. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then some of those pieces, some of those cards get kept, some of them get shuffled around, and so what we've got here is our second game. There, the game is played over up to eight rounds, and it's slightly asymmetrical between one player who is the Chancellor, playing with these purple pieces, and then all the other players playing as exiles, or later citizens, but for the moment we're just exiles. Uh, and we've got the Clockwork Prince, the um, this flowchart over here, who will be playing as the Chancellor. There are five possible win conditions in the game. They could change over the course of the game. Yes, it's you can win. So there are five different map conditions that will make you win, mm -hmm. and there are the timing of those and who can win at different times depends on cards and rounds and Chancellor versus Exiles and things like that. Um, which makes it very difficult to describe up front what the win condition of the game is. But there is one Oathkeeper condition, and that is in this game, it is the Oathkeeper of Devotion. So there is this banner here called the Banner of the Darkest Secret, which the uh, Chancellor begins with. and Throughout the game, we want to try to steal that banner, and if we can hold it for two rounds, then we'll win the game. Mm. If the Chancellor keeps it, then the Chancellor has an increasing chance of winning the game after round five. Then there are three other win... There are win conditions on visions, which come in here. One is the same, one is to get this banner, one is to hold the most banners and relics, and one is to rule the most sites out on the board. But you have to find that particular card from the deck, reveal it as a vision, and um, and hold it at the start of your turn. Until you reveal it if you want that to be the winning, yes. your winning condition. Yep. Uh, there's also a successor goal if we become citizens. I don't know if we'll do that. We'll see. You'll It'll see. come up, but uh, yep. the winning, having the Grand Scepter is mm -hmm. another winning condition. Um, so hopefully that has uh, totally put this game in perspective. It is essentially a, to a large extent, it's got area control and battle elements. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be moving around these eight different sites in these three different regions. And all these cards that are out here will give us different powers depending on where we are, what locations we rule, and so on. And I think, I think we just get into it from there. Yeah. Patrick, Stella, you must win this. No! <laughs> That's a pressure. Nah, we'll see what happens. I don't mind not winning. Yeah. This is... um. You must win to keep your undefeated... Uh, huh? Undefeated, undefeated what? record intact. Yep. You did win the previous one. No. Often the, cha often the previous winner will play the Chancellor. That's what's recommended. But okay. uh, we have only practiced the Clockwork Prince Which, on the Chancellor. It's not really a, a real game. You helped me with some stuff as well and some questions. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't count that as a victory, as per se. Um, so um, I haven't actually looked at the board yet. Um, I was just jumping from other stream to this one. Yep. What has turned? So everything that's face up, you will recognize from our last game. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the Buried Giant over here, where you can spend a secret I'll put it on your side. You can kind of like direct it, no? To the right mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. With that one, yep. Uh, where is it? Hopefully that's the right one. You can move it forward as well. Move the base forward. Thank you. Yeah. We've got a buried giant here. We've got the salt flats. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some cards with different effects here. Uh, this is where the clockwork prince begins the game. It rules this site. Uh, the salt flats is a good place for picking up uh, favor and secrets if you start there with your pawn. Le legacy adjacent, someone say. Sorry, that's a good one. Mm. With your pawn, yeah, and that's Vuko. Uh, mm. Sorry if I miss anybody. King Freezer. Well, oh, I don't know if the undefeated is like it should be like me and you, me and you. That's fair winning, anyways. Yeah. Then out here in the middle, can't really see it with this camera. Oh, 
I'll move yep. that back. Head back over head. Okay. Um, yep, we've got some locations out here in the middle. Yep. I think we get into it and we explain what is going on. But before we finish setup, da, 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 da. Um, oh sorry, I'm pointing it the wrong direction. There you go. Yeah, it's not really okay. We're gonna bring it and then let you know what's going on anyway. Okay. So the final step of setup, starting with the chancellor, each player does the following. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you yes. you get to pick first. So we each were given three uh, denizen cards. And you've got to place your pawn. So what you do is you put your pawn onto any um, any location, any visible, any visible location, I would imagine, because any otherwise one face up site. Mm -hmm. And you keep one of those denizen cards, and you discard the other two. What? Just one? So sad. <laughs> All right. Um, have you chose yours? I have not because it goes in turn. Hmm. I did not look at these before we start. Okay. All right. Might just not think about it through. Where do I discard these cards to? Um, that's why you have to pick your starting spot because you discard to the next region over. Got it. Always discard to the next region over from your pawn. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'll just go here. Yep. I'll just put it. Uh, lying flat so people can see more yep. clearly that's my orange cute I mean I've, I've seen there in the chats um, that it is a, a pretty looking colorful game it is not a light game however so it is a pretty complex game so what to say so I'll just got it by the way now um, I will while Terence choosing his ones oh hi Jenway Jenway um, just popping in to say hi, having a friend over for games tonight in a long time. That's okay. So we're going to let you know how to enter our giveaway. So uh, hopefully I've set it up right. Yes, I have. To enter, um, if you're familiar with that, it's the usual with the password woodland, woodland, all in uppercase. If you haven't, go to mebleuniversity.com slash giveaway and put the password to open a simple form to fill out. It doesn't work at the first um, in the first time round. Just refresh your browser and then put and then the form will appear and we'll um, we'll draw that at the end of this live playthrough for the winner to receive it around the end of May, early June um, of a copy of the standard edition of I almost say Ruth, not Ruth, Orith it just reminds me a lot of Ruth obviously you've okay. chosen? I have chosen alright so we are ready to go and mm -hmm. I do apologise I will have to refer to the Clockwork Prince rules uh, as I Yep. Make sure he does the right thing. It's like a Bible. And then there's a flow chart. And yeah. then you have <laughs> depending on what happened. That's okay, Tarrant. Okay, so we skipped the assess threat phase in mm -hmm. the first round. And then we um, search and play one card. Mm -hmm. So the Clockwork Prince always searches and plays one card. So we draw three cards. So it goes the first as mm -hmm. a first player. Yep. And we've got a vision coming next. Ooh. Then we reveal these. Going from left to right, mm -hmm. in a row. For each pa battle plan you reveal, advance tactics by one. So it gets harder to fight as the game goes along. And this is a battle plan here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we play one card uh, whose suit is described in the mind quadrants. So uh, the tokens on the flowchart begin here. Uh, he has no conspirators yet, so we play unaligned, make it a conspirator. So it's going to play the Great Herd. Um, this is played to the topmost cradle site that is possible. This cradle site is full, so he's going to play it to here. Gains a favor from the matching Nomad favor bank. Um, and then advances the relationship marker for that suit. So. Uh, you go here, this is the Nomad suit, and according to this quadrant of the board, he plays it as a conspirator. Um, now, when we come to rules that, um, that require us to check the suits of the Clockwork Prince's advisors, 
we use any suit that is in the conspirator column. So that's particular for uh, taking the darkest secret. Remember that we can't take the darkest secret. If there is a card at the location that does not match, I've got to check it because I keep getting mm. it wrong. Anyway, these uh, go in the order they were drawn onto the province's discard pile. And now we take actions. So it gets two actions because that's uh, where the token that was advanced goes. And we follow this process here. So does he hold the darkest secret? Yes. yes. So the next action is to search again. So we search the same way. But We've got a vision. Maybe you shouldn't do that because like, boom. Sorry. Microphone. <laughs> um, so we've had one vision drawn. We reveal only the non-visions. Mm -hmm. And let me just check this. Um, so we're on the left because it's equal, I think. Um, it is the same so, uh, the same amount of icons you do on the left. Hmm? But I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yes, you use the leftmost card. Yep. Okay, so we resolve, search and play one again in exactly the same way. Um, so we're going to play Wayside in. This can't go here. So now it, this place is full, so it goes to Wastes. Mm -hmm. He gets a, a favour like from Like literally go, go to Wastes area, not go to Waste, yep. as in get discarded. Yes, this area is called Waste. <laughs> um, reveal the cards, play the card, advance the relationship marker. We are still making them conspirators. Yep. Which means they just they're following the normal win condition, right? The conspirators. Hmm? Anyways, keep going. Hmm. Okay, and then these are discarded uh, once again to the province's discard pile. Right. Okay. So that is was this a battle plan? I forgot to check. That is a battle plan. Mm -hmm. So we advance his tactics mm -hmm. by one step. So he's getting stronger already yes. when we battle them. Yes, uh, we will get plus, it's still only plus one mm -hmm. die um, or minus one die to us. Okay, so is that it? Uh, no, that's one action. He gets two for the round. Right. So second action is muster. Mm -hmm. and to muster, it places one favor onto each empty card. The coins are the favors, yep. Gains two war bands for each of those. Wow, already very strong. I'm worried that if the games might actually beat us, none of us will win. Which is possible, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. It is possible. He's a valid player. <laughs> okay, so that's actions and then clean up. Mm -hmm. uh, favor goes to the matching favor banks. Which is the heart, heart and, and the beast. beast. So there's like the supply of favor or coins or secrets aka book they're actually not valuable usually unless it's stated but it comes from a rel relevant um, symbol or house okay mm -hmm. and that is the clockwork players turn done yeah so you've got seven warbands on his board it's going to make it it's unfortunately going to make his uh, pawn very difficult to fight for that banner. So yep. I'm going to need um, who's, books to get Who's first player? Uh, so we go clockwise, so you are next. Okay. So um, Lisa, I think, asked, can you do um, a close-up shot of a uh, avocat? We can do that um, by our parent. And, um, oh, I only have one coin. What card do we want? Hmm. hmm? What card do we want? Yeah, what card do we want? Um, yeah. Oh! Coralu here. Hello. Show the great Thanks, Coralu. Coral's back. I miss Coralu if. Sorry, I'm gonna say. I miss Coralu if Coralu's not here. But it's okay. No pressure whatsoever. So that's one of the cards. What does it say? This is the. Uh, Make it not blurry. Great herd. Uh, it's not coming unblurry for me. Sorry, Tarrant. Uh, when played, you may swap great herd with a nomad card at any site. And of course, the art on here uh, is by Carl Carl Ferrin, who yep. did the. Art for Root, Root as well, and right. um, for the other four little word game, mm -hmm. um, Fort. For Fort as well. Yes. So, game two supply. Okay, that's actually good. 
Was that just the reveal? I should probably... Yes, that was the one that um, that the Clockwork Prince did during the mm. search action. Right. And if you actually... Um, sorry, my pawn is here, so that means I can use this action? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I picked that. I should have like picked there with... That means I can um, get more. But I'm going to do... I'm going to start my turn with searching. So currently it costs three. Supply. One, two, three. And okay, so you there. draw one at a time until you That's get a right. vision. There you go. Okay. So I inspect this myself. We've had two visions drawn now. It's actually, I haven't actually turned it upside down. Sorry, everybody. Um, I'm going to back to the, to the center. Um, interesting. What is my, my other one? Okay. This is good. All right, I'm going to take that. Ooh. All right. I will take one. Um, because I'm drawing it, um, this is where I am. And I will discard it here. Right? Yes. Oop. Now that is two. So I still have one, two, three, four. Four supply. Four supply. I want to put one money to actually uh, get a wall band. Yes, that's the mustering action. Mustering action, thank you. And that was one supply. And the next one, I will place... I can reveal this at any time, right? Yes, as a minor action, you can play it. Mm -hmm. I can... Let's say if I put it here, to get the master, and this one here, I can... Oh, I don't have money. Never mind. I don't know why I even started there. I can do two actions to move to another side and play a card from my hand. Yes, you can play a card from your face down advisors as a minor action at any time. Okay. Well, sorry, at any time in your act phase. Right. So I want to go here to and then spend two. This is very inefficient, but just showing you can do that. And then I'm going to play something from my hand to my own, um, my own area. Now, but that one does not actually cost me any supply, but it doesn't give me any coins either. Right? Sorry, I was checking something. What was the question? If I play it on the advisor, yep. that doesn't actually give me any coin or favor. Correct. But uh, if I put it there, then it will. Yes, but there is no room there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I can actually go there instead to travel, right? Let's go there. You can, yes. Yeah, let's pretend to go there. Oh, that's Ooh, a little bit the better. The Lush Coast. Yes. So the Lush Coast uh, has room for three cards. It pairs with the Rocky Coast in mm -hmm. that you can spend one supply to move between the Lush and Rocky Coast. Mm -hmm. Usually costs two supply to move within regions in the province. Right. Uh, no bonus goodies get put onto it. Okay. So I will play this here. Spirit Snare. That is zero supply. And that gets me one coin from this logo, which is this one. Yes. And then... And the action on this card is to take a... It costs a uh, book... Secret or book. To take, yeah, it costs a secret to take a favour from any one favour bank. Okay, and I will. Sh I shall do that. So I'll do that. Yes. Uh, where are you, Taran? You don't know where you are yet. I'm oh, over here at the very giant. Okay, I'll take it from. Let's say from the beast. It's got a lot of money, and that cost me an action. A book. A book. No, oh, no, uh, still it costs no actions. you no supply. Okay, that is a good thing. So I still have one supply. I could have gone there and then, but I didn't have money then. Um, I could have said I can I could also save this for next time, which I will. So I'll save it for next time. Now I at the end of my turn, which is now, I gain the supply equals to how many um, warbands meeples I have these. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it says nine uh, on your player board. So hence I get nine supplies because I have one previously. I get one extra. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, just looking in at the uh, the questions here. Root is from the same designers. Is it less complicated than oath? Than oath. I think what I would what I would say is that um, root the complexity of root is because of how highly asymmetrical it is. Mm -hmm. This is much less asymmetrical. It still has a little bit of asymmetry to it. Yeah. Bye, January. Um, I think I think oath is a little bit tougher to visualize until you've played a couple of times. Yeah. But the learning curve is probably not as high as roots where everyone has got very asymmetric yep. power and winning condition. <coughs> so now we do your rest phase. All of the uh, favor, oops, mm -hmm. sorry, favor is removed to the matching bank. Mm -hmm. um, Secrets go back to you, mm -hmm. and we're pretty close to where we started. Yeah, there's you've got one extra <coughs> fave from the arcane, and that's it. Yep. All right, um, so I do my wake phase where I don't have people's favor or anything. Sorry, everyone, I missed some of the questions. Um, do we enjoy this game so far? Yeah, we enjoy this game so far. I don't, I don't really um, like automatically attracted to all war games, but. This is war game with um, other elements like kind of like worker placement deck building as well with cute artwork. So that's how I drawn to it. Yeah. Right. What I would say is we've only played <coughs> a learning game and uh, it was a learning game with a lot of referencing. So okay, okay. we'll wait that's until fair. we've played one or two games having uh, knowing what we're doing before I'll... <laughs> Judge okay. Oh, so you'll be the witness if you're gonna like it on. Oh, if the Heron's <laughs> gonna like it on it. Ding, ding, ding. Mm. All right. I'm going to uh, reveal my animal playmates advisor. Mm -hmm. So I spend no supply if I'm mustering on a uh, beast card. Then I am going to uh, spend one supply to trade. Mm -hmm. So I will place a secret here and I gain a coin plus a coin for each matching advisor. Mm -hmm. Very good. Which is why I revealed this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I don't yet have the ability to get a, um, a book out of that. Mm -hmm. I do want to... I do want to, uh, I want to search while it's still inexpensive because it's going to get very expensive very quickly. But where I am right now, there's no room for yeah. more cards. You're going to have to move somewhere. I could try to recover this and then, then I can discard people. one. But I don't know if I'm going to, what I will do, because I'm on the buried giant, oh no, I've already used my secret. <laughs> In, isn't it always the way? Alright, while you think, I'm <laughs> gonna have to rotate this side camera so I can do better, alright? I'll be back. Okay. I think what I would like to do is visit the Salt Flats actually, because the Salt Flats has um, favour and secrets on it, and if I finish my turn down there, I can, um, I can pick up, sorry, if I start my next turn there, I can pick up that secret, and that's pretty handy. Secrets are good. All right, let's see. If you play a denizen that was not a face down advisor, gain a um, gain a coin from the half bank. I'm well, back. I could search and get the benefit. There's of so many this. things you can do. So I think you just have to choose something to show how it works. I am going to search while I'm I'm going to aim so. to just show you what it is because otherwise I'll be like thinking about it too much. I think anyway. Oops. All right, so I'm going to spend three supply and I'm going to search. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. No visions. Um, I look at these. Eloquence here. Ooh. Bye, Miss Regards. That one Christine. could be helpful. This one. Very much up at midnight. It will be so... Um, oh, half past two. 
in Europe, in Euro, I am, um, I guess, I'm very late, very late indeed. Ooh. So we've got 54 entries so far um, for Oath. Okay, I'm going to play Horse Archers. Mm -hmm. It is a battle plan that lets me add or deduct three um, attack dice as a wow. once-off. And then I shall place the others in the provinces discard pile. Should I actually send that as well, or that's secret? I'm playing it face up. Oh, no, uh, that one. No, you don't get to see yeah, that. Okay. I'm playing it face up because then I can use the welcoming party ability. If you play a denizen that was not a face down advisor, which I've just done, gain a, a favor from the half bank. Yes. Now I've got four favors. So you can activate these cards if your pawn is in it, yes. not your warband. So that's two different things. You can okay. activate it if your warband is in it. Warband as well? well? Okay, okay. That is your turn. Rule. Mm -hmm. um, so I still have three supply. Mm -hmm. um, I. No, that's alright, keep going. You're hurrying me up, aren't you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Not very secretive. Mm -hmm. um, alright, I need to. Mu I'm going to muster. Mm -hmm. So I'll play a coin here to gain two warbands to my board. And then, did I spend the supply for that? Mm -hmm. One, three, no, I didn't, so that cost me one supply. Then I'm going to spend one supply to move to the salt flats. Oh, Tara's moving already. You've moved already. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm going to end my turn there. Yep. Um, so I get my supply goes up to the top. Yep. Um, this secret comes back to me. This goes to the, the appropriate symbol. Yes. And that's it. That's it. End of round one. All right. How's it going? <laughs> Good, thank you. How about you? So this is back to Clockwork Prince again. Back to the Clockwork Prince. <laughs> so now we have to do, first thing we do is a threat check. And I don't yep. think there's going to be any threat here. Yeah. Uh, because no one meets no one meets any goals. Yep. No one meets a successor goal. No one has taken the Oath Keeper title. Mm -hmm. No one has even revealed a vision. And, and the, and the panda. No exile is the Oath Keeper. Mm -hmm. So there is no threat. The uh, mind markers stay where they are. And we search and play one card again. So this is the third player option. Yes, this is how you what you do in the two player mode that you yeah. have. A yeah. And you can do this at any player count. That's true. Um, but this is op um, not optional for two players. It's highly recommended with two players. Oh, highly recommended. So you don't even have to. Yeah, strictly have to. But I don't think the board would fill up enough without a third um, a third body. So. But it might be interesting, and then woo woo! I can freely go to these, go to that, no. But I, yeah, okay, we okay. wouldn't get through this deck quickly. Okay, enough. okay. All right, so. Well, that's a majority. We want to play a friend. He has no friends. So he will play the leftmost card. The leftmost card? Oh, look at this artwork. Yep, we'll play mm -hmm. this one. Scryer. Because there are two of this same one. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh, just because it's the, it's the leftmost. Oh, the leftmost, okay. Yep. Okay, play to the topmost cradle site that you're able to. If and not, the topmost province. So that goes mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Gains, sorry, there were no battle plans. I yep. always forget to check the battle plans. Gains one favour. Yep. Um, and advances the relationship marker. So Discord becomes a friend according to this quadrant of the board. Mm, interesting. These two are discarded to the province's discard pile. And in the second action? And that was before the actions. Oh. So now it takes <laughs> two actions. Right. So, first step is battle ready. Mm -hmm. I have to think this through. So is he battle ready to fight the rival site with the fewest warbands? Well, there no. are no... There's no warband. Yeah, I have to check mm -hmm. this. Um, 
So while Taryn's thinking of it, uh, I'll uh, let you know as well how to enter our giveaway for a copy of this game, the Standard Edition. So the Standard Edition um, will not have, let me just quickly show you what it won't have. It won't have these two, or these two basically, uh, which is the um, the coins, was that, um, oh my gosh, what is it called, these coins? Favor. Favor, sorry, Favor and Secrets or Book. And it's made from resin, but you can upgrade it later if you want. So back to that one. So that's, this is how you enter. So go to mipouniversity.com slash giveaway and enter the password there to open up a form that you can enter. Refresh doesn't work. Woodland is the password, all in capital, please. Uh, yes. All right, so as I look through that, he's going to travel and fight bandits. Din, din, din. So this action is travel and fight. Uh, he fights if he's battle ready. Uh, he's going to have seven, seven dice. <laughs> Vinny. Oh. So that's going to be fine. Um, it's called campaign, sorry. Mm. So he's choosing the bandits, which are the neutral, um, the neutral enemy that's in these locations. The he will fight the two face-up locations because that will still make him battle ready. The uh, we gather defense dice. So essentially, uh, we're fighting the prince is fighting this site and this site, and those sites offer two defense dice. There is also uh, one bandit warband at each of those two locations. Mm -hmm. So we'll add two to the result. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the. The prince gathers attack dice. The default is seven because he's got seven um, warband the warbands. Board. He adds one for tactics, mm -hmm. but deducts one because he's attacking the mountain. Yeah, it's and I'm actually going to take yeah. these dice out of here and roll them into the, um, the tray eventually. Right. So each each location might have different variants. Yep. Now, uh, it's going to use each battle plan that he rules, but there are no battle plans at the sites he rules. So now, uh, the battle happens. So let me just place this here. The defense rolls one shield plus the two warbands is three. Wow, this is also kill, isn't it? The attack rolls... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So comfortable victory. One warband is killed because yeah. of the skull that was rolled. Mm -hmm. And then he takes over these two locations. So spreading his influence. Wow. Well, he's going to win. Well, They're going to win. It's Maybe. I mean, we're Who not knows? playing with Oathkeeper of Supremacy, so... You can rule the whole board, it doesn't Actually matter. Actually true. Okay. Um, have I made a mistake here? Yes, I have, because he was meant to attack the Lush Coast as well, because no one rules it, the bandits rule that. So, mm. let's... Let's go backwards and try that again. <laughs> Thanks, Taryn. Ignore the last two minutes. <laughs> so, the... <laughs> there are three. The prince will roll three. Let me roll this. And... Two. Gets two. I was going to step through everything, but you want me to speed up, so that's okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so uh, the defense roll is now five. Um, that's not five. No, the, defen the defense roll was five. Yeah. Um, so the because attack. Because it's two pair. It's two plus the three bandits at those sites. Okay, yep. Uh, now we've got an attack roll of one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So that's even. So sacrifices one warband to make it six. To add one attack. Yep. And that has to be more than equal. It has to be more. Attack yes. to success. Okay, so now victorious 
Now rules even more of the map. Wow. It's all sad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But that's all right. It doesn't control any... Uh, doesn't, doesn't control any yeah. battle plans, which is nice. Okay. Okay, so that's one action. And then the second action rules the most sites. Yes. Does he need a banner? Um, what does need a banner mean? Does he want a banner or just need it? Mm. Probably need to try to steal other people's banner, like yeah. his banner, banner. Need a banner. All right. Does he hold that? No. Is he battle ready to fight? There's no leader. Can he pay for the thing? Yes. The banner. Yes. So this is action two. Um. This is the one that he's going to take, right? Yeah. They're going to take. So the banner, um, banner of people's favor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was just like waiting for you. Yeah, I, you need, I need to read it because I've. Ah, oh, sorry. How it works. Yes. So, put more favor here than was already there. Mm -hmm. So many options here. Put so old favor in into favor banks one by mm -hmm. one, starting with any suits. Um, recover. Terran's just doing the uh, the set the two player variants clockwork princess thing. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And there we go. Okay. Okay. But each time they need to pay. Well, they need to pay book. Oh no, not this one. This one they need to pay each time. Not yeah, the other. Favor one. needs yeah, to yeah. be paid each time. So mm -hmm. that is the end there. Uh, no actions were taken that put tokens out on the board. We don't have the chance to become citizens. Mm. So it is your turn. Yay. I want to start with getting more of these cards. So one, two, three. It costs three. Yes. So one, two, three. There's no vision. So I pick secretly. And now, can you actually discard anything that you've played, like yours here? You played this, can you discard this? This one, I mean, this one says it gets discarded. Okay. The only way you can discard is if you're full and you want to play or um, place one. face down another one. Okay. So I'm going to take one here and I will discard because I'm taking it from here. This is where I am. I'm going to put it right here, and discard. Yep. And then I am um, going to play this one to me so fire talkers so it's actually give me extra three if I hold the darkest secret which is this one that the the player has that the mm. thingy player has yep. and I will I want to just try to stick to one kind of like simpler strategy hopefully hopefully we'll see what that how, how, how that works um, and then I'm gonna try to get uh, do a a trade. So I'm gonna reveal one more. So they both are matching. So doing a trade cost me once one supply. Put my book in here. And any anyone in my location, put one book there, and I will um, gain three. One. One. Oh, sorry, this one. So there are only two in the bank. Ah, okay, so I can't get three. Oh, I can get through anyway, at least two. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's just like, I thought my plan's gonna work, but then it's not as simple as that. These banks are so limited. I know. <sighs> um, and then, that is, that's not good at all. Because I thought I'm gonna, get away with getting the, another resources but no I won't I need book you know what I will redo that sorry everybody and I'll put two instead here to gain book yep so you gain two secrets two secrets that's right sorry One not book for the matching advisor which I have two here and I get two secrets and then from here um, I will just get, oh no, no, I can't get thingy again. I have to place something there to get a thing, which I will. So one, 
two so I'm gonna play only two to get the um, the cards from uh, you've got to be in there to pick those ones up this one sorry yep. two to get this two three, three. Uh, but only spend two from the discard and look at it mm -hmm. and then I can choose to play something if I want to and oh oh this is good place this from the thingy what's the shared bank shared bank is those okay not these right oh um move all of your money from uh, to the this bank any money you gain or take is put into the thingy bank you can use money in the thingy bank as if it's your board so you would have access to all the money in the nomad bank i should probably have it in my advisor because that's a good thing to have right can be oh but then again you have access to that as well okay i'm gonna just put it there this is an advisor's one Oh, right, right, that's what so it that is. That would have to go into your um, <coughs> into your advisors, and you would never mm -hmm. be allowed to discard that one because it has a chain on it. Oh, gosh, so that means that, that lets me use all this money. Let me just do that. <laughs> I might regret this. I have no money, so I don't put anything. I put the discard here. So my next one is to do another trade. So... Place one here. One supply. Hmm? No, place the money here because this is now my bank, right? Uh, yes, but you would not get any. Um, I can get book. No, because you don't have any matching advisors. Oh. Ah, jeez. <laughs> I need that other advisor. So what can I do? I can do Warband. Put it there. Yes. Or I can do Action, um, Attack. If I think I've got this much Warband. Yes. And that actually is to Supply, which I don't have anyway. So I'm going to do that and then get to Warband. Yep. That's it. Done. Okay. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have here, so eight to four is um, the least I have here. The least supply I gain back. And that goes back there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing else is on the board. That yep. is your rest phase. My go. Mm -hmm. ding, ding, ding. This is competitive. Yes. Sorry, I am um, having <coughs> to come back to the. It is a war game, everybody, in the, in the, in the sense, so bear with us. All right. Um, oh, there's Hallie. Hello. Yes. So at the end of my uh, wake phase, I'm going to take this secret. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to... How do you get that? Uh, that's the bonus of having your pull up the salt flats. That's right. Then... I'll play, I will trade, I'll put two on here, so I'm giving you, I'm giving you money, which is not really what I want to do, but. You need to do it. I need to do it, so I will do that to take a I'm sure I can't, I can't make it um, very useful. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to spend two supply to move to the rocky coast. Right. I'll spend a secret to get two of these. At least take that money oh, no. away. Um, I'm going to spend two supply so that's okay, yeah. to dig through here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you went here, didn't you? The one I wanted is gone. Yeah, that's annoying. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you want. Okay. Okay, I will take the vision. Because mm -hmm. I want a vision. Yep. 
Um, what have I got left? Two supply. So I can get another book if I want. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we're playing with the Oath Keeper of Devotion, so having books I think is a good thing. So I'm going, sorry, I'm going to, I don't have to spend any supply because I'm going to use the card to get it. Mm -hmm. So two coins. Wow, that's a lot secret. of books, a lot of secrets. You know, a, a lot, lot of, of secrets. And a lot of money back for you though. You get four money off me this turn. Well, you took some money from I took here. Two of it. You get yeah, a net fine. two. <laughs> All right. Uh, now I have two supply left. What do I? Good want thing to if we. Um, good thing we're not really. I mean, we competitive in a way when we play games, but after that we'd be like, yeah, it's fine, or like Taryn. Well, there are times where I'm like, Tara, you win, I'm so sad. But then there are times, yeah, that's fine, you won't. But I don't know about you, if you play with your friends or partners, do you get competitive usually? Or do you, you know, you don't really mind? Or do you, do you want to feel like you have to win? Um, because everyone has a, has kind of like different style of, of playing games. But I imagine as board gamers, you can't really be too upset if you lose. <laughs> But there are times I do, no! All right, I'm spending one yeah. supply to come down to the Lush Coast mm -hmm. using the Rocky Coast bonus. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do both of these just because mm -hmm. I can. So this one is take a favor from any one favor bank. Yep, um, very good. It doesn't make a big difference to me which one. Yep. I guess I'll take from here because... Yep, whatever. Whatever. Well, maybe I take from Arcane. There's a digital version of Root. Okay. Oh, I collect the camel. And this Hello. one lets me peek at any one discard. Yeah, someone to play with. You bought one. Yes. Um, I guess this means I can. It says I can peek at a discard pile, so I can at look, any one. Look through it entirely. I guess. That's actually true. It doesn't mean you can rearrange it, though. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Interesting. Cool. I still have one supply. Um, there's not really much I can do with one supply now that I've filled these up. Okay. So I could go back to the rocky coast. Mm -hmm. I might do, do that. Yeah, I'll go back to the rocky coast. I'll go back to the rocky coast. At cool. least that way, if you want to attack me, you've got to come and get me. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's it. So I how many I still have nine warbands, so, so I go up to okay. here. Um, I get my books back. Mm -hmm. All goes back to the related of the type of cards, the type yep. of house. What is it? What's the word? Suit. Suit. Thank you. Okay. And then back to the clockwork. Back right, to the clockwork prints. So there is still no threat because nobody has. Um, this is already round three, right? With yes. maximum of. Maximum of eight rounds. Yeah. Good and early though. Yep, so nobody has uh, completed a, mm -hmm. there's no threat at the moment, so uh, search and reveal. Let's get that not mixed up with mine. Ooh. Vision. Vision. Two visions. So this is the only one that will get reveal. Mm -hmm. um, Book burning. So it says here, I'm going to bring it to my, my area. If you're victorious and target it to the defender's, po defender's pawn, they also burn all of their books on that board except their last. Oh, that's that's bad, no? That's an awful one. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Um, all right. The... Where was I? So it should be playing a friend. This is a discord, so mm -hmm. it's a friend. It will go here because this is the uh, the first vacant space. Gets a discord coin. Uh, this then increases the friend. Uh, this was a battle plan as well, so this goes up here. Mm -hmm. And now we take actions. So the first action is to search again. Uh, and searching from this deck now costs four supply, but mm. I think well, I think every vision's been 
That's one more vision to draw. Okay. Okay. It's going through the deck pretty quickly. Yep. The other thing is he's going to take three actions now. Oh. No. Why? Okay, so he should be playing a friend. None of these are friends. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, play an unaligned. So beast is unaligned. These two are aligned, so he's going to play this beast card over here. Nicholas. Gorilu is very nice. He's been, um, Gorilu's been trying to, well, he's been helping us with the um, help us moderating as well, and officially, I would say, because, yeah. you know, doesn't. As in, like, Gorilu can also enter this giveaway. That's what I'm trying to say. So the beast is now a friend. I forgot to check for battle plans again. I get a bit competitive. Okay, I'm just like looking at the. No battle plan. Okay. Nicholas say I used to to get super competitive when I first got into a hobby. I think I've mellowed out some now, and now just enjoy the experience. But winning is still nice. That's true. I guess as long as you t at least try to win to make the game interesting for others, because if you're not trying to at least try a little bit, that kind of like maybe you're not as interesting. I don't know. Um. Me fresh the stuffed animals. Oh, the hexy beast. There's a solar mode? Yes. Yeah, right, so the second action is to move to the place where we would get the most uh, coins in a trade. Right. And then the third action is to trade for both coins and books. So the way uh, the Clockwork Princess trade works is every matching card in the friend gives favor equal to what's shown in that box. Mm -hmm. And every matching card in the Conspirators gives secrets equal to that box. Right here. There are no matching secrets. There are two discords. So that is, it would be worth four coins. Missed the pay as well. Have you been paying? I forgot to pay, yep. yes. Previous round as well? Uh, he didn't have it in the previous okay. round. Okay. Okay, so that is uh, gaining that. And what that money does is it makes it harder for us to buy that card with mm. uh, that banner with money. Okay, it was my turn now. Um, that was the three actions. There are no coins out on the board. Mm -hmm. There is nothing else. We don't meet the citizen condition, so no. yes, it's your turn. All right, so first one, I'm gonna just do a trade. Cost one supply. I wanna go, sorry, here. So there are two different types of freight for book. Uh, uh, favor to book or book to favor. So I place two, gain uh, book or secret pre matching advisors. I've got two matching advisors. Yep. So I gain two book or secrets. Yes. Now I will then, because this is basically my, what do you call it? Favor. Favor. And I spend two to go there. And one to go there. Lush Coast to Rocky yes, Coast. Yes, yes. I have one more. Oh, well, I can go there and then if I go there, I can gain mm. two more. Have you spent too much favor? Mm. You've only done a one, uh, sorry, have you spent oh, too yes, much? Yes, yes. You've only done I think so. one. Yep. And then you moved one. for. Move. If you're moving to Waste, it costs two. If okay. you're moving to Rocky Coast, it costs one. Right. One it is. And um, I can spend two money here to gain. Oh, if I get with the trade action, mm -hmm. so with this one, it doesn't give me any, uh, doesn't cost me any supply. Doesn't I just cost put supply. two. It's the same cost anyway. Uh, I still get one book either way. Yep. And you can just sit there and keep generating books because you get. That money back at the end. Well, that's not true. I'll probably take the money. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, and now I would like to use this one. Um, oh, I should have gone that one there. No, I've got no matching advice. If I put it there, how much money do I have? Oh, from here to here, this is not worth it. Okay. Oh gosh, all right, in that case, and this is, might be foolish, but I'd like to do the recover, which we haven't actually seen before. So mm. spend one supply. 
I want to try to recover this. The Banner of Darkest Secret. So firstly, let's check that he... Actually, let me just not do this. Let me just refresh this a little bit. I, I forgot that I've got something. Sorry, Tarrant. Um, I'm going to refresh that. Sorry, ignore my my thing for a little bit. It's oh. just there. So you got to put that book back. There. Yep. Thank you. There. It's tough to go backwards in this game. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. So right now you've spent one supply doing yep. that. Yes. So now I want to cover, recover the book. Um, I don't know if this works. Okay. And then I put this one here. So I've got this one, a special one. So first so, I get the book. So let's just first check that this is valid. Yeah. So you can only recover the darkest secret if any card at the holder's site does not match any of their advisors. Oh yeah. Um, this, and that's fine. Um, the Clockwork Prince's advisors are the conspirators, and there are cards here that do not match that. So okay. This is valid. So I can do that. And when I, uh, place can recover this from if you there's a card your site when doesn't want you. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And the new holder must place more book than the old book. Then I mean secret. Then takes one secret from the old secret here, and then the. The old holder stacks the rest. So technically, it's like that, and put all of them here, right? Yep. Now I've got this card, which I put two money to um, favor. Uh, if recovering the secret gains two books, and add them to any other book you're paying to recover it. Bless you. Hands. <coughs> so I gain two from yep. here, and add them to any other you're paying to recover it. Like that basically okay and you now become the oath keeper yes and then i will put book here i will try to attack somebody <laughs> because if i attacking i'll get plus three um attacking dice if i hold the darkest secret uh, uh, so that will cost you two uh supply to campaign Boop. Campaign you is attacking. Must campaign against some. You must. You have to campaign against the Clockwork Prince. Yep. And so, <clears throat> what you now do is choose, choose what you're attacking. So, mm -hmm. um, because because you're at this site, mm -hmm. you must attack this site. I think. Hang on. Campaign. Declare targets. I, yep. I you must declare at least one target at your site. You must target your site if the defender rules it. Yep. So you will be targeting the Lush Coast. That has one warband, plus this pawn is here, so these three warbands add to the defense. So that means one, two, three, four, five dice. One die Sorry. and it's, right now it's one die. Defense uh, die. You've, one defense die, yes. Mm -hmm. You have taken the Oath Keeper, so this Oath Keeper bonus is no longer valid. Yep. You have seven attack dice. Plus three. Plus three. Mm -hmm. um, I have to hold the cans. Now you have to, so I, you will lose two for the tactics. Fine. Are you going to target anything else? So you can target any other site that mm -hmm. that, um, that one rules, mm -hmm. you will Gain, it'll add one defense die and one or two if mm -hmm. you do that. You can target the banner. No, I'm not going to take it, target the banner. You can target the scepter. Nope. And. What is the scepter does anyway? Let's have a look. Uh, the grand scepter. You cannot <coughs> use this if you took this turn. Action pick in the imperial recruit. Um, so, action. And action, offer citizenship to any exile or exile citizen. <coughs> At this moment, this is not useful for me. So I'm going to put it away. It's also the uh, successor's goal if someone becomes a citizen. Okay. I don't think I'm <coughs> going to go uh, down that path. So at the moment with this, I'm just targeting this, right? Yes. And if I win, I will add my warband to here. Yes. On me. And this warband would go... If you won, uh, the prince would lose two warbands mm -hmm. and the others would go back to the board. Let's target this one as well, shall we? Okay. Actually, 
Um, and this one. <laughs> Greedy. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea or okay, not. Okay, so you lose yep. an attack die for targeting oh, the outside. Oh, yeah. Let's just target that one instead. Thought you might. Yeah, thank you. So this one, this one, this one, and that one. All right, you next. Go first. Now, next. Yeah. Um, battle plans. Yep. Yeah. So um, the. It's like exciting, everybody. It's just the battle. Let me just put it there. So you have used your battle plan. Mm -hmm. um, the prince will automatically use this battle plan, mm -hmm. which is fine because yeah. you. I'm attacking, not defending. Right. If you're victorious and you targeted the defender's pawn, yes, that's an attacking one, so you can't use that. Yes. There are no other battle plans there, so yes, it's die rolling time. Now, I don't rule this because I don't have the warband, so I don't actually take that into effect. Correct. I'm just talking about the one that I, I put there and hoping that this is not going um, to uh, bite myself in the back later. Right? Yep. Okay. Okay. So uh, the defender has the. The defender has a total of six warbands, so we'll add six to this roll. Okay. Six is the defense. Yes. Okay, let's put it there. I mean, like, I mean, that's not that. I mean, that would be the minimum that I can achieve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I lose two warbands. Mm -hmm. Added the seven to, um, well, to exceed yep. the defenders. Oops. And this one, okay, you, you finish it. All right, so um, <clears throat> the prince loses mm -hmm. half the warbands that were involved, which was six, so three. Mm -hmm. uh, you may now claim those three from sites my board. from your board. So I'm ruling here, I'm ruling <clears throat> here, and I'm ruling here. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then I have one more. Which I actually don't have money, unfortunately. Oh, I've got all the... Oh, I don't have book. <sighs> and I don't have money. I need to lose this. You can't lose that. Oh, it's chained to me. It's oh, chained gosh. to you forever. I only have one, so I'm going to move here. Hello. Hello. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, boop. That's okay. it. Okay. That is my turn, and that's so Terrence. Now these go to the arcane bank. These go to the arcane bank. I feel like I made a mistake by doing that. Possibly. Arcane bank is very full. <sighs> yes. Uh, you get your book back onto your board. Oh, I I can do this. Can I? Like I can use one. That's here. Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. No. This is this goes back there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So <coughs> now that you're the oath keeper. Mm -hmm. Um. At the start of your next turn, if you still hold this, you'll become the usurper. Mm -hmm. And at the start of your subsequent turn, if you're still the usurper, you'll win the game. Yeah. And you've set up a very strong position here with um, with seven books because someone needs eight books mm -hmm. or to attack you with eight defense dice. Yeah. In order to take that away, so. You're in a very strong position right now. I think I got lucky because I saw these two here, but I don't know if this is going to turn out good or not. So this is the one that I use when I recover the Dark Secret, this one. Uh, this helps me to add additional books. That means it's harder for other people to take back from me. And this one is good for battle, but we don't know. Okay. And now I'm chained to the thing to the, uh, and there's no money here. That's okay. All right, Taryn. Is it your turn? Yes. <coughs> yep. Indeed. Um, right. How much supply do I have? Sorry, here? chat. I haven't actually looked at you um, for too long. It's good that you actually swing yourself uh, between yourself as well, amongst yourself. And there's one of three troubles, aka Wyan. Hello, troubles, troublemakers. Uh, Why are all dice is so enjoyable? Um, every game should have dice. No. Sean, you can do it, Stella. Thank you. Um, oh, Shelfie Stacker. I think I'm missing all the nice... Oh, there's fast. Somebody say fast. Two ones say fast. That is also the leader game, asymmetric. I love I love fast playing as the cave. Um, yeah, yeah, we should probably get them to the table again. 
that was that was a, a fun game the cave but we need to play it with more than two players so it's like the cave trying to win by make sure that everybody's trapped in the cave and what the the knight trying to slay the dragon the dragon or something like that or the goblin tried to kill the human i can't remember it's been a while but um yeah that's that's actually the first leader games games that i remember it might be a previous one but i don't know um jet say fast <coughs> definitely works with more players yes oh the board dad is here hello from um instagram friends i can see some instagram friends here um christina it's fun to see unfold we don't know yet and here we go um start the the food fox so one of three troubles just finished lunch with extremely spicy chicken excellent we were craving like for two weeks i want spicy chicken i feel like i've seen now hmm i didn't mean to be like if you don't eat chicken i think there are times like i'm okay i don't have to eat meat um i like tofu and seaweed and stuff um especially japanese food this is a way for me to, to talk, start talking about food turn. That's all right. I, I'm trying to, uh, to eat mathmati me alive. mathematically work out if I can uh, win. Win. I probably can't, but I'll give the. I'm. Oh, Are you surrendering? I have to think this ahead. White flag. Come on, Taren. If I if we give you uh, the time, no, that's okay. Taren, 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 you can do it. That's okay if you beat me, Jed. <laughs> Go get this. Um, I made my own spicy chicken, chicken and spicy sauce from the bottle. <laughs> Lol. That's delicious, Coral. Look, I want that. All right, Tara. Um, let's see. So we've got 89 entries. Make sure everyone enter the giveaway for a copy of Oath. And this is the information. And the parcel is Woodland, and that's the site, mipuuniversity.com slash giveaway to enter. Enter the password, or in uppercase, refresh the browser if you need to, and enter the form. And I can see it straight away, and we'll um, basically draw it at the end of this live playthrough. <coughs> Alright, I think I've got a plan that works you here. It. It'll probably fall one resource short. No. Nah. And then get destroyed, but that's alright. Um, so I'm going to use this to spend no supply to move to the waste. Right. Then I'm going to um, recover this relic. So that's going to burn two secrets. Which is here, right here. Yep. Yeah. Gain this relic. Do you know There's, what that was? Um, I guess I could have peeked at it before I did it. It's on discard pile, so you can't pick it. Mm. Oh, you can pick it. You can peek at that's a relic at your location. Right. Okay, so this is Sticky Fire. It's a battle plan. If you're victorious, you may kill all the warbands in your energy force. If you do, you must give them favour, if able. Mm -hmm. It also has two defence on it, which is nice. Sorry, it sorry, it doesn't add two defence. If you want to steal it, it has yep. two defence. Wow. Then I'm going to play my... In your enemy's force, that's, that's mean. Anyways, yes, keep going. Ah, I do fall one resource short. Mm. You want to ref refresh that? I pretend that I never see that sticky fire thing. Do I see no, a white flag? I'll, no, just keep okay, going. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> then I'm going to pay this mm -hmm. to gain two supply. Wow. Then I'm going to spend two supply <coughs> to move to the buried giant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Um, Spend a secret to gain, unfortunately, one favour. Mm -hmm. I really wanted two. Yeah. Then I will burn this secret mm -hmm. with one supply. Sorry, I had to do one supply to trade to get the favour. Then I do one supply... I feel I've miscounted. Let me try this again. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a pretty complex game to be with us, everybody. So, no supply. 
and free movement to here. Who is the hats there, little Terran? I think it's probably Terran. Recover the relic. Move two over here. Do the trade. Burn the secret to get this relic. Mm -hmm. Now this works actually. So I burn the secret, I've got a grand mask. If you're in exile during your turn, you rule cards except battle plans at Imperial sites. And Imperial players do not. What does that mean? So I can now use cards. I can use any cards that the um, that the Imperial player would have ruled. Yep. I think I have a feeling that you um, have a one secret short. I have a vision that lets you win with collecting relics. I have a feeling because there is a, um, uh, a I don't know. I, I'm ninety percent sure, not hundred percent. Because it looks like you're trying to get relic, relic, relic. So I think you're going to go there and then try to get that relic. Maybe. So let's pretend before I left here <laughs> that I did gain yes, yes. this to supply before I came over here. Um, okay. Now I am going to... Move here? No, I can't afford to move there. Yep. But I'll campaign against... The bandit or the... I'll muster. Do you use that twice or just once? Uh, once. Okay. I, I did it and undid it a couple times. Oh, right. So now I'm going to okay. now I'm going to muster. Yeah. Now I'm going to campaign against the. Taran's starting to worry. He's losing lol. <laughs> Exhibit. Uh, no, I've got to be where his pawn is to campaign. Mm-hmm. I gotta admit though, um, I know some of you have seen our uh, playthrough, live playthrough before. I gotta admit. I get distracted with the chat and Taryn got distracted with me talking about the chat and distract him and this one is not the easiest because he needs to also control the third player, the AI player, which is the clockwork prince um, with the flow chart depending on what's going on. So if you win this one, I will do the laundry this week, how's that? All right. Starting again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I did one. Thanksy Bexy. You're starting again. I just want to make sure I count it correctly. Okay, okay. All right. But, uh, yeah, that's okay. I've seen that. So. That's hilarious. Okay, that's okay. That's okay, Tara. This was how I started. Mm -hmm. Spend no supply to move here, mm -hmm. spend one supply, burn two secrets to get the relic. Yep. Ooh, sticky fire. <laughs> um, spend a uh, favor spend... to get two supply? No, I need that favor. Okay, I'm okay. going to spend the favor to get two warbands. Yep. Oh, hang on. That's one supply. I don't need to spend supply if I muster on a... Not doing that yet. Spending two <laughs> supply to move here. Yeah. One supply. And taxi bus, how come Taryn gets three turns and Stella gets one lol? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. One supply to recover this relic. Free to do that. I have actually fallen, so hopefully that's all good. And I have I'm to sure burn okay. this secret. Yep. Um, I will spend this... You have to burn... How many secrets do you... you I have burn to... three secrets. Oh, yeah. I flip this secret to move here mm -hmm. for no supply. Yep. And then I campaign against... The Clockwork Prince. The Clockwork Prince. Is that okay? I think you want to steal... I have a feeling you probably want to steal the um, the Grand Scepter. Um, no, I'm going to steal the no? the people's favor. I think okay. it's a little bit easier. So ready, We got there in the end. <laughs> so targeting this pawn. So you're targeting this I'm pawn. Targeting not the pawn, but the people's favor. That has three defense dice because, because, because it three has three coins. Coins. Yep. Um, I have seven attack dice mm -hmm. because I'm 
because I'm attacking him, two of them go away. I'm using my horse archers. So Which two, so three come in. It's essentially what you just did before. Yeah, three attack dice. Yep. yep. Um, if you're victorious, you can kill all the warbands in the enemy's party. That's just a, a perk. Mm -hmm. um, if you're victorious and you targeted the defender's pawn, which I did not, um, there's no other battle plans for me. The icon change after I push enter was supposed to be Superman. What? What did I miss? Renee going to bed. Bye, Renee. Almost 2.30 oh, yeah. a.m. So late. I usually go to bed at 9 p.m., 9.30, 10, something like that. All right. I defend dice first, right? Yep. Yeah. Do you want to roll them? Sure. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. You're not mean. It's a dice roll. <laughs> He's like mean. <laughs> I'm not mean. All right. So that so, is a total of eight. So uh, Because these that's five come into play. Plus... Three, yeah. And you're attacking this one, right? I'm attacking the banner of the yeah. people's favor. So I lose a war band for this. Because there's a skull in the in the dice. Yep. So I've got how many is that? One, two. So it's actually three. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. You kill three warbands. I to... kill. I use the sticky fire right. to kill all of their warbands. Wow! If you're victorious, you may kill all the warbands in your enemies for enemy source. If you do, you must give them money if you're able to. Do you have money? I mean, I favor. do not have any favors. Yep. I take the banner of the people's favor. Well done. Um, because I seized it by force, mm -hmm. I have to burn two of the favor that were on there and flip it over to the mob side. Oh, I thought if you only have you have six, then you flip it. Uh, it also flips if you seize it. Okay, right here. And it's more powerful. And I've never actually looked at the mob side, so I don't know what it does. Um, Surprise! <coughs> I keep explaining. Put more favor here, blah, blah, blah. So now I can discard a card before I play a card. Must put a coin here or move coin that's here to the favor bank with the least favor mm -hmm. and do it twice. Yeah. Um, Allison. I don't know what happens if I'm Allison's, unable to do it. Kids Planning is a, is a good YouTube channel where the two boys are so having fun explaining games. I wish I got introduced to games, board games like this when I was younger. Well, I've got Monopoly, Snake Leather, but. You know, I wish there was like more kids gaming, but there weren't any that many before. Anyway, check out Kids Planning <laughs> YouTube channel and also on Instagram. Um, so while Terence checking the rules again, um, please don't forget to enter the giveaway um, for almost worldwide. There's uh, a few countries that I think that uh, from US they can't really send anything to in the description, but. I haven't actually drawn any winner from those countries, but just double check and you'll get it um, around the end of my early June, the, um, the game. Um, yes. This gets discarded because I used it. Yep. One, two, three. Okay, three rounds. Okay, so, yep. Yeah, as I don't have a. Uh, as I won't have favor, then I don't have to do the start of turn effect. But it is very, um, it's a risky spot here. All right. And of course, I'm revealing the vision of Sanctuary. Let's see on the side. You what is win, this? You win if you hold the most relics and... I knew it! Relics and banners. Mm -hmm. And at least three visions have been drawn from the deck. So we've been drawing... Uh, so three edits. visions have been drawn. So right now... You'll win in two turns time, I'll win in one turns time. Oh wow. But, I mean I'm in a pretty weak position, I doubt I'm still gonna have it, but I needed to yep. force the envelope because you're in such a... Maybe I should have taken a turn to, to get sense. strong enough to fight you, yeah. I don't know. You can't take your back to this we'll time, Karen. <laughs> so, alright, now uh, Clockwork Prince, so you take all of your... So, that goes to this the beast. This one comes beast. to beast. This one comes to mm -hmm. you and or no bird. Secret flips back up. I'm down to one secret. 
pretty much spent the farm on that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty broke as well. All right. All right. So now the Clockwork Prince. Clockwork Prince wake phase. Frankie. Now there'll be a threat. Now there'll be a threat. And they, um, they're going to try to steal our banners as well. Banners of people, banners of people's favor. Unfortunately, that. I think he's going to attack me first. Oh, why is that? Because <laughs> um, I think that's the order. So All right. No citizen meets a successor goal. Mm -hmm. Not citizen um, yet. An exile is not the usurper Steve. or the oath keeper in round eight. Yeah, if we become citizen, there's like different. Oh, sorry, I again. sorry, yes. Um, has an exile revealed and completed a vision? Yes, I have. So yep. I am the threat. Mm -hmm. Which means this was a really unwise thing for me to do, actually. Oh, that's what uh, So the vision of sanctuary. Maybe you'll, you'll get lucky. Comes here. <gasps> now we search and play as usual. Um, so there's, uh, we're playing a conspirator this time, so it looks like it's going to be the convoys. Discarded to the hinterland. Um, convoys will be played here. That one favour that you were hoping for goes to the Clockwork Prince. <sighs> Um, I forgot to look for battle plans because that's always what I do. Mm -hmm. There is one battle plan there. What's battle plan again? Oh, oh the, um, yeah. Yep, so the Clockwork Prince gets a little bit tougher. Um, and we advance here because it was a nomad. Mm -hmm. So three nomad. Okay. actions. So the first action. Is to attack you. <laughs> do you hold the most relics and banners? No. no. Battle ready. If he's battle ready, he's going to move to me and attack me. Uh, he's not battle ready because he has no warbands. Oh, okay. Let's see if he's got warband on the board. On their board. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hi, Magnite. So Welcome. next is to move to a site with a relic. I won't know. Action one is to move to a site with a relic. Right. Well, this actually, okay. Mm -hmm. He's just going to try to get more. So he's not going to be very useful mm -hmm. in uh, fighting. Sounds very good then, yeah. All right, so move to a site with a relic. Can he pay for that relic? Yes, he can burn two favor to take this relic. Mm -hmm. Check. Um, recover. Pay the cost of the relic. Play as many. Favor of blah, blah, blah. Spend favor from your ambition box first. Okay, so he's got a relic. Is the circlet of command. So that is two actions. So you do know you don't have favor to pay this at the start of your next round. Yes, but I don't have to lose it. It just goes down to minimum, which makes it really easy to fight for. Okay. I think that's the, the main point. Right. Okay, um, so now does he hold the most? No. Battle ready? No. So down here, mm -hmm. we'll trade for secrets and favor. Yep. So in this location, it's one favor from the beast yep. and one secret for the nomad. And that's three actions. Yep. So the you clockwork win. the clockwork prince was not very aggressive there. Yeah, that's, that's the way this I think. the way this works. Yeah. It basically, the clockwork prince is mine, and I didn't mm -hmm. think this through before I went for it. Was um, attack if ready, and mm -hmm. if not, go and buy relics. Okay. Um, there's another side on the board here where it's like the ruling one. It's Go and muster warbands and then go and fight. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to fight you here. Um, let's. Oh, sorry. First... <laughs> I'm going to fight. So I, I changed it to this. <coughs> um, hang on, I just yep. have to finish the cleanup. Oh, sorry, yeah. 
So no favour. Uh, starting action marker. Tar Taran's where you saw her. Yeah. Yep. And uh, if you're the Chancellor, do not hold Dishes. the Oath Keeper and you have a threat but no successor. Each exile in turn order, except an mm -hmm. exile who meets a successor goal, may peek at the bottom of the relic deck and take it to become a citizen. So you may, mm -hmm. if you wish, become a citizen. Nah. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, with your joking face, like, you may. I oh, no, thank you. Thank I you. also thank choose you. not to yes, become okay. a citizen. So, uh, what's the condition? What was the condition, did you say? The long passage of text I just read out? Yeah, it was like so long, like no one... You know, so, like, if if the Clockwork Prince is the Chancellor, does not hold the Oath Keeper title, and has a threat but no successor, yep. then each player may look at the bottom of the Relic deck and choose mm -hmm. that Relic to become a citizen. Ooh. If but that means like, a citizen, I don't get that. Like. Yes. To become a citizen, you have to... The you have to create a situation where the um, the clockwork prince the prince where the chancellor wins yeah but you are meeting the successor to the chancellor goal at that time okay and I need to get that and that might actually that might stop you from winning I think we're on round four yeah no nah, it's okay I'll just leave it. My you're, a, you're probably in a stronger position. Yeah, just probably. Take it from me. But you only have one banner. So. No, I have to hold the, the most. So, yeah. so it's not a. Yeah. It's not a. Yeah. Largest item. Okay, so obviously I'm going to have to attack you, right? That's my only strategy. So can I attack you from here? Uh, no, you have to move. You can, re you can try to recover from anywhere, but yeah. if you're going to. Steal my banner, you have to move to the site of my pawn. This is your pawn, this is mine. That is not your pawn. Okay, so I can do one supply to come to you, basically. Yes. So, okay, first... And you do now flip this over to the usurper side. Yep. Um, I will get more war band, I guess. That probably is a good when I attack. You need coins for that. And I don't have coins. Hmm, this is bad. If I attack you, say if I move here, I attack you with how many? Right now you would roll two dice plus whatever's on. And you roll how many? Uh, actually, you still have that fire talker, so you would roll five. Yep. I would have one, if you only attacked my banner, yep. I would have one die mm -hmm. and three war band okay i really need to get money but i do need this so that means i need to get book first and i don't have money to get book and i'm in a bit of tough situation oh gosh i think i'm probably just going to try to attack i can move <laughs> all right let's see if i move here and cost me one supply I can go there. I'm ruling this side as well, though. I've only got one book. Okay. Plus, you wouldn't be attacking my pawn, you'd be attacking my banner. Yeah, I have to attack your banner. I can use this my only book, but that's not really... Because <coughs> you do need... Oh, yeah, because you I need, need that I need book it, to... Yeah. Let's just do that. Okay, two... Um, two supply... Put my secret there, so I gain three dice and plus two, did you say? Yep. So I have one die mm -hmm. and three warbands. There you go. Um, from a battle plan perspective, mm -hmm. if I'm victorious, I can kill all the warbands that you attack me with. So you've pretty much got one chance to make this work. Yeah, but you, if you're victorious as a... That's an attacker. No, it's attacker or defender. That's a right. Okay. A um, I card. might regret this. We'll see. Um, I don't rule any other battle plans. Mm -hmm. You rule this one. It's like, is it easier to just attack this one? Um, this one has two. Ah, oh, right. Rather than this just one. This one has two defense okay. rather than. Go for it. Okay. Two. Two. Oh so mine is five. Yep. Oh no! One, two. Three, four, so I failed. Uh, yes. Okay, so Not what happened now? Ha <laughs> ha, 
I failed my attack. So you lose yeah. all the wall bands because of the sticky fire. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay, so I can attack again if I want to, but I don't have any. You would need to master first. Yeah, I'm in a really bad situation. So you're gonna win next at the start of the round. I'll win at the start of the next round if I. Oh, I don't think I'm. I'm very surprised that the Clockwork Prince does not target that. I'm surprised he targeted it in the way he did. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah, a bit of yeah. a weak approach. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I definitely rolled really bad. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, that's a unfortunate roll. Mm. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> it's like the worst roll ever in this like in this very And I rolled the best possible. <laughs> I know. Combat. It's like if I roll again, see? <laughs> that's like overkill. That's overkill. Or, yeah. You would lose all of your board bands. That's well, okay. Right? Yeah. Cool. What else can I do here? I don't think um, I've got no book. I've got no money. What else can I do? I can search and hoping for get money. There's yeah, because you do. No, I have this one. Mm -hmm. If you searched, you would need to place here. So you'd have to move somewhere yeah. that you could place. Um, if I move here, that cost me two. But it won't. Then you won't get back to attack me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm done. I think. Unfortunately, Taran will probably win this one. Sorry, draw three cards. I can draw three cards to my supply. That's it. I can choose one relic. There's no relic there. Um, choose an enemy. I can't really battle because I've got no power. I think I'm not doing anything. You're probably gonna win this one. I think so. I can't see. Yeah. Can't I don't see think. A way past it. Oh, so bad. Like, why can't I roll slightly? Like, like, I roll the worst possible dice roll ever. <laughs> you could. Yes. Uh, That's okay. I, you, I mean, you can draw the. You can draw the search cards and. Hoping for the see best. See if there's something, but it will cost you two supply, which means you won't yeah. have enough to campaign. You might have. You might find the um, conspiracy vision, mm -hmm. although I think you'd need a book to burn that to steal something. So from if it. I go there, let me just throw do that anyway, just because it's the only thing I can do. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Gain book. I can discard one of these if I want to. To create room for another one. Yes. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'll discard this magician coat and put it there. I don't need that at the more. Uh, trading with the old orc, you gain book more than book, and you have it's any advices. That is one's it? a tree, so it would have to go here. Okay, the tree has to go there. This is the only thing that I can get, so I'll take that one. Yeah. That one. Uh, I don't think it's very useful. It just means after you're victorious, you may travel and then make campaigns, spending no supply for either. Nah. Uh, all right. That's it. You'll go. You win. I win. That's it. That's it. Well done. <laughs> That's it. It's like anticlimax, man. What's going on? I will say I did not I definitely didn't expect it yeah. to pan out that way. When I when you got this, you're in such a strong position to I hold. Know. I knew my own yeah. I could have tried to find a way of getting books mm -hmm. and, and battling you for it, but yep. I figured I'd try just pick up all the mm -hmm. relics and um Hope it didn't get. I beaten. thought you need one more turn, like you don't win straight away. Like I need my one more turn to actually win. And it's the difference between the visions and the, the right. Earthkeeper yeah. goal. The vision is very strong in that way. Well done, Tara. Hmm. Yeah. Um. I mean, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> you played <laughs> you played a much better game than I did. I yeah. I did the last ditch thing. Yeah. I got the luckiest possible roll yeah. here, yeah. and I was one. and I was fortunate that the Clockwork Prince went the. Yeah. Um, That's why I was like, I swear, route I swear, than, you know. like, like I, not I swear, but I thought like ninety percent surely the Clockwork Prince, the third player, will attack Terran because he's almost winning. But it's not. I was like, what? Really? He would have attacked me yeah. if he was battle ready. That's true. And I guess with some irony, it was because you destroyed all of his warbands the previous time around. No, you actually you discarded them. Or did as I well. discard them? You discard them as well with the sticky fire? 
I didn't use sticky fire. Okay. I may have discarded. I didn't them, think I, didn't I, I didn't think I t attacked the clockwork friends. You you attack. I attacked. No, actually I did. Yes. That's right. It was yeah. um, because. Yeah. How did he lose all of them? There was something that made him lose all of his warbands. Like I've got all the combo. Like it's all down to dice roll. Unfortunately, it's so bad. Mm. As you say, you you roll the best possible, and I roll the worst possible. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So we are we going to write the chronicle in this playthrough because there's a sequence of steps that takes us from here okay. to being ready for our next game, and it'll take me about ten fifteen minutes to run through. Okay, it. we'll see. We're probably not going to use the book because I like. So the the game comes with that. Um, writing the chronicle means setting up for the next game. Oh right. Okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll do it off camera though. I'm not going to do it with. Um, not going to do it on camera. No. Okay. It's like I think it's. it's is it long enough? Maybe here. Yeah. yeah, it's a process of taking specific cards, shuffling them into specific decks, and setting up the next time. Right. Um, so, and here's the last chance then. So we're going to draw the A winner for Oath, the standard edition. Go to middleuniversity.com slash giveaway, <coughs> and password is woodland, or in uppercase, and refresh your browser. It doesn't work the first time. And terms and condition, additional terms and condition is? Um, it is for, um, it's worldwide except for countries with US export limits, which are in the description. description below. And you get it May? End of May, early June, and yep. what else? A standard edition. So get in before it gets away. Yes. I can't believe you win! I, I actually can't either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's a, as you say, I was in a strong position with this you know, have being a usurper, but that's it. Like I just get more turns. Um, but I did get yeah. lucky this, though. This plus this was going to give you a really strong position if anyone came to battle you. I could have come down yeah. here if I had three coins and gone coin, coin, coin. Mm -hmm. Had a had a lot of warbands to attack, so I still would have had the chance to take it. But like this, this cards would combo not bad. I think not bad. That one is to gain the. Uh, hang on, did I get the wrong one? <laughs> Where is it? Where did I discard it to? You would have discarded it to the hinterland. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. One, um, it has me a, a very strong position when getting the uh, this relic, with getting extra books, so it's harder yeah. for people. Other people need to attack with more dice and they need to take over with more secrets or books. Yeah, I just made the mess there. Thank you very much. And the other one is when I have that and I, I my battle gets stronger. But unfortunately, yeah. But my, my only downside, like, I think that's the only downside for this one, which is the dice roll. I mean, you know, you're not really quite sure, but I, I know the risk. Mm. You know, that was a really, really bad dice roll. Otherwise, if I won that one, then if I won that one, what happened then? If you had won that, you mm -hmm. would have taken my um, banner. Yep. I would not have met my condition, so mm -hmm. I would have probably gone hunting for... Relics again? I don't know what I would have done, because I, I basically I did spend the farm on that one yeah. attempt, because I have one book and no favour left, so yeah. my ability to go out and get more relics was probably quite Same low. with me. <laughs> my ability to muster more warbands to fight and get it back was mm -hmm. very low, mm -hmm. so... Um, well, t <laughs> to be honest, I probably would have taken a citizenship at the end of the next um, <laughs> Just Prince gave up, turn okay. and tried to sign me up. Manage it that way. Yeah. Um, and then you would have had, you still would have had to have survived yeah. until the next turn. But you were the usurper, so you would have had nine defense dice mm -hmm. plus your battle plan. So you yep. would and. You know, there's I no, there's no there's war bands maximum, up there. Maximum of six battle uh, defend dice though. In the game. Is it? I'm not sure I remember seeing that. Isn't it? I can't there see There are only one. six with the game. I yeah. don't remember seeing a rule that says... It can't be more than six. It can't be more okay, than six. Okay, there you go. So I would probably want if... Not down to that. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm like... It's like one of the one of the things that you have to... Uh, just accept your loss. Thing that you're going to win. And that's it. But I always thought that Tarana always have good strategy. Now, if the um, Clockwork Prince had started mm -hmm. trying to uh, take this from you, mm -hmm. um, would have first tried to pay, 
and if not, would have. It wouldn't be able to pay. It doesn't have a lot of. Doesn't have enough books. Yeah. It secret. would have done one sequence of try. So it would have checked battle ready first. Mm -hmm. If not, it would have done one sequence of trying to grab books. Um, and then it would have mustered, and then it would have checked to see if it was battle ready, and then it would have cycled around. So, so it, would, it wouldn't have got there in yeah. time, even with and four then I won. And then you would have won. Oh, it's so close to victory, I can almost taste it, but that's it. That is Earth, everybody. And we've got 111, 112. So are we closing that now? You need to count down from um, 5 to 1, Tarrant? Yep. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And we are... Closed at 112. Closing at 112. Let me just try to share it with you. And we didn't talk very much about citizenship yep. in this game, but the citizen, what will happen, um, the Chancellor can offer a relic and any other things in a deal to an exile player as a citizen. And that lets the, lets the Chancellor take over their warbands. Mm -hmm. So they're replaced with purple warbands. So it can help um, it can help the Chancellor come back from a weaker position and that's kind of like it yeah. helped I think that's why the I don't know I wasn't involved in balancing it but it gives the <laughs> it gives the Chancellor a, an opportunity to have more resources to defeat a uh, a player who's doing really well on Usurper or Revision mm -hmm. um, but the Chancellor then are the citizen then gets this secondary goal mm. uh, that they can go and try to fight at the same time yeah so it's probably not a big thing in a three-player game but if you you know this would be a big part of the strategy when you play at five or six all right okay so we're closing it now yep. this yeah there's need more mango so that entry was in and i think we send let me just quickly check something um yeah i got ty's entry as well because uh, there's a question there yep. um oh actually there's um 113 113 all right let's because we're nice we got 113. Right. can you imagine if it's like it's gonna win like 113 is winning let me just go back to this and that was 113 there you go shall we do it Tarrant? let's draw okay let me go to the thing again 113 it is for Oath. And good luck everybody. A lot of balls there this time. And Tarrant, would you like to pick a winner randomly? Mm -hmm. As always, like we always do this randomly, we don't know who's gonna win. And that would be number 26. 26. Okay, let's see. Did you put in early in our stream? 26 is Vuko! Vuko, oh. you won! Amazing! Thank you for... Um, it's from Australia. Vuko from Australia win a copy of Oath. Well Yay. done. Congratulations. Yay! Congratulations! So you will receive this around the end of May um, yep. and early June. And thank you for participating, everybody. We do fun uh, live playthrough every weekend. Um, so it will help us if you join us. And I love the chat. Sorry, I wasn't too chatty this time. <laughs> I was fully thinking of the game how I'm going to beat everything else in the that's happening. There's a lot of ways to combo yeah. things together. Yeah. I mean, I we were I had no warbands out on the board, so I wasn't. I was only <clears> really <throat> looking at the cards in my space. But you can use cards anywhere on the board that you um, that you have a warband. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, um, and um, you know, again, thank you so much, everybody. If you could please help us, um, if you found this useful, help um, help us by hitting the like button, please. Um, if you haven't subscribed to us, please subscribe. We do live playthrough like this the same time every weekend, and we do other things as well, like how to play Mushroom and Sweet um, review, which is coming. Um, there's a stack of things that we do in the <laughs> review and how to play. Gee, long day <laughs> after this. So that's it, and, and Fuko, I'll message you after, um, get your full details, so I can forward truly the games, so you get the games then. Um, thank you so much everyone, um, you've been great, I was just like looking, is it 26? <coughs> Sorry. Um, <coughs> uh, Fuko, well I actually shouted 
Well, well done. And um, Anzac Day tomorrow. Today. Oh, today. Happy Anzac Day. Sorry. Thank yes, you. The, the holiday is tomorrow just for your company only. Um, for different <coughs> on different states. Company. Some Is states it? get a makeup public holiday some days. Mm. Um, Victoria doesn't. Right. My company does give it to us. Okay. Uh, but yes, we will. So yeah, for always commemorating Anzac Day. Um, I hope you're having a. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not dogs. a. Ha it's not a happy day, but uh, <coughs> hope you're having a, a solemn and dignified and um, <coughs> good Anzac Day. I'll Thank you. Good. <laughs> And um, that's that's the dog. I, I forgot I've got that dog, so I'm like, hey, hmm? this dog. See the screen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like looking. Where's the dog? <laughs> that <laughs> on a different screen. All right, ever. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. And have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. This is the secret ending, and I'm Professor Stella here to deliver some information, in hopefully useful information. Parent, hmm. what do you get when an astro astronaut goes skiing? Um, let's see. I don't know. Downhill. An maybe? avalanche. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> about avalanche. What did one skier to the other sky? Skier. skier, sorry. What did one skier say to the other skier? Hey, look at those slopes. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, it's all downhill from here. Okay. I don't, I, I don't like it when the joke is just such a generic setup that you can't <laughs> possibly work out where it's going. Yes. Um, what do snowmen eat for lunch? Uh, it'll be some food with a. Mm -hmm. um, they eat their carrot noses. That's a good one. Smell. I like that one. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it is. <laughs> I don't think snow meant Even halfway, halfway through that answer, I thought it was going to be bur burgers. Oh, that could be like <laughs> bur burgers. Bur they roll the R on the bur 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 um, Okay, one, one, one more. Okay. Um, Knock knock. Who's that? Ada. Ada who? Or Ada who? Add a lot of candy. Now I feel sick. Uh, thank you so much everyone and thank you Corolu for helping us moderate the chat. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. For real. Bye. Oh, we win? Are we on? <laughs> we're on. No, I'm not. I know we on. Kidding. It really was a poor dice roll. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve to win. You played a much better game. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you you have to, um, you know, monitor everything else. That's it. Okay, for now. Now for real. Bye. Bye. <laughs>